Hello all, welcome to openmentor.net. We are going to see the great language COBOL. Usually people will always think about the recent languages like Python, Perl, etc. But COBOL is one language, the common business oriented language which is the expanded form of COBOL. Way back in 2009 it was 50. So it celebrated its 50th birthday right in 2009. It's a very very robust language, simple language, very simple and it is it is there for the last almost 60 years now. So we are talking about 55 years now. We are talking about a language that stood the test of time. It may be an old language but it's a very simple powerful language. It's almost like English. When we see COBOL programming you will see you will be writing sentences and it will work. So you don't have to know special grammar for COBOL except a few. And most importantly, every language is measured by the number of lines coded in it. If you take COBOL, the number of lines coded in COBOL in the last 50 years or so, it is more than all the lines coded in all other languages. And uh, using COBOL, a lot of data is stored. And during the year 2000 Y2K timing, COBOL was very, very popular because of the date format changes. Unfortunately, people think COBOL is dead. No, COBOL is very well up and running, alive, still growing. And COBOL has been there in all the big companies. You talk to any of the big time software companies, you will see the IBM mainframes and other mainframe computers and COBOL. That group still has a lot of demand. So don't think COBOL is outdated. COBOL is very well living even today. So if you take COBOL, this is typically the COBOL structure. Every COBOL program has got four divisions. The program is divided into divisions. If you take a book, you will have the preface, table of contents, then the chapters, then towards finally the glossary, then index, the copyright notices. Typically that's the structure of every printed book. Same way, COBOL also has divisions in the structure of COBOL program. The four divisions are identification division, environment division, data division, and procedure division. Identification division is used for documentation. The environment division will tell on which type of computer we are going to run the program. Data division simply deals with the variables that we are going to use in the program. Procedure division is the statements or steps in the program, the logic of that. So each division, within each division we have got sections. If you take a book, you have a chapter. Each chapter has a title. Within that you have subtitles. Then you have got paragraphs. Same way in, in each COBOL program, each division is divided to sections. Then the sections may be empty. Some sections may not be empty. And then within each section you have either the data definition or the statements that implement the program logic. Okay, So this is a standard thing. The identification division is the key one, the first one. You will always have this program ID. What is the name of the program? Okay, So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump into the COBOL program itself. To do the COBOL programming you can download IDE COBOL. Okay, IDE COBOL is the very simplest form of the COBOL editor. You can use this IDE COBOL and then install. Once you install the IDE COBOL, you will you will get a window like this. Then from there, I have coded one program, the very first program in COBOL. Okay, I use this. Uh, each COBOL program will have typically the .cob extension. Now let me increase the font size to maybe 20. Okay. Let me increase that. Highlight. Change font 22. Okay. Now if you see here, somewhere I have used a six digit line number. 
you can use blank lines again this line number is not mandatory nowadays previously it was there because COBOL programs were written in punched cards each card will have one line so in that they used to have this number to sequence those cards physically so the very first division first six digits are the six columns characters you use it for line number seventh column we leave it blank which is used for comment indicator we will see that later only from eighth column you can start typing your statements the very first thing is identification division so you have identification division each line ends with a period or a full stop the very first part of that identification division is program space id dot then you give a space then you can give a name this is the name of your program it can be COP01 or it's better to give the same file name. I do that. Let us for a moment forget about the environment division, etc. etc. I am straight away going to the procedure division. The procedure division is the one where you write your code. In that, as I said, each division has section. I am saying main routine section. Within that, I, I have something like main paragraph. You could ask me why I start this from this column and this statement from this column we will be explaining that in later sections the very first statement display hello okay that's what I'm doing display hello now I say let us say display hello how are you now I'm saying display press X to exit then I say accept a variable WSA is a variable we will see how to define the variables accept something from the keyboard display display something on the monitor accept takes in it's an input statement display is an output statement accept is an input statement it accepts something from the keyboard then once you accept stop the run finish the execution now I say save this I want to compile this when I want to compile this I use this icon okay if I compile it asks something I just type enter enter now it gets compiled now I run this one when I run this watch I said display it is displaying hello how are you I said display press X to exit now it the prompt is waiting for me I press X and then type enter program comes out of it very simplest COBOL program I have this identification division environment division data division procedure division this is the very first COBOL program just simply display accept display is an output statement accept is an input statement very fundamental so welcome to COBOL we started our very first program we saw the background of COBOL program in this details of every division and sections and the syntax and the program examples we will be seeing in subsequent sections thanks for visiting openmentor.net